So this is it, boys. Pikachu. Oh, there's one. Oh, we got bit. No. Dude, that is rad. Oh my God, look, as soon as I said that, they've got to bite this. All right, what's up guys? We're out here at Echo Park Lake, back for another top water fishing session out here. I'm really excited about this one because I picked up something online that I'm pretty excited to use and I'm pretty excited to show my kid. I think this is something he would love and want to use, but you know, I got to test it out first. So we're throwing a Pokemon Pikachu slow jitter type lure. Oh yeah, man, this thing's gnarly. It's got three hooks on it, the trailer hook. That's nice. I bet that'll really help us out there. I cannot wait to catch a fish on this. Oh, I hope I didn't just lose it. And we lost it. Well, we tried. So this is it, boys. Pikachu. You guys think he's gonna catch a fish? Leave a comment down below if you think this guy's gonna catch a fish. I don't know if I should have my hopes up yet or not. Let's see what we can do. This thing's yellow, so I'm wondering if it will imitate a duck. Oh, there's a little baby bass coming out to look at it. Turtles looking at it, duck came to look at it. Everything's curious about this. Let's try to find some open spots. Everything is curious about it. Look, at turtles keep coming out everywhere. Let's get out of this grass. This looks a little more open out here. Maybe if I work the banks, that's fairly clean. Man, this thing really does have a great action to it. Ooh, it looks like, looks like something may have come out right there to try to look at it. I know there's gotta be bass in this grass right here, hiding from all this sun. This bait definitely is pretty useless if you get any grass on it though. It totally kills the action. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Man, this is one of those topwater baits that you just sit back and you just like wait. It just has you on the edge of your seat. You just feel like it's gonna get popped any second. Look, swirls swirls right around it it definitely draws attention that's for sure i mean everything is coming out to notice this and try to figure out what it is oh there's a little school of bass one two three four five six six little dink bass right here look here comes another one and i wonder if mom's down there somewhere and there's our bird's nest god man too grassy too grassy it's just killing my experiment I have caught a nice bass right here along this line, so I'm at least familiar with this side. I at least know I've caught a fish here before. These turtles want it more than the fish do. Oh, the turtle's taking it. The turtle, the turtle bit it. I do not want to hook a turtle. Oh, ooh, a big a fish just bust right there. The turtles won't leave it alone. Ah, stop, stop. My God, look at this. Look at these turtles. I've got like an entire fleet after it. Oh my God, look at this. You got it, no. Oh. <laughs> what? It's a po, it's freaking Pikachu, bro. Yeah, literally. No. Freaking Dude, that is rad. Now I just need a fish on it. Ooh, wow, I don't know what that was. Let's see what we can make happen right here. Oh, there's one. Oh, we got bit. Oh, we got bit right there. We got bit. Oh man, first bite. Let's go. Watch out, bird. Oh, dude. Is he gonna come back for it? Oh my god. That was a good bite. It's freaking grass, man. So much grass. Well, at least I know they're down there. He's too smart now. He's not gonna fall for it again, dude. Oh man, guys, I can't believe we lost that bite. And then that fish was not coming back for it either. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. See, all this looks so good, but man, I'm telling you, like the smallest amount of grass on this thing just totally kills it. All right, this looks okay. We got some nice open water here. We got some nice open water down here. Guys, I don't know why I'm trying this. I mean, this is a nightmare, but I feel like that's a good spot right in the middle of that nightmare. And I want to try to throw at it. And right in the wrong spot. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh we got it. Whew, we went right over that line. Man, the wind carried it. Whew, we almost lost it, holy crap. Legitimately, we almost lost it. All right, well, we made it all the way back around the lake where we started. Definitely grassy, super grassy, super hard to get a bite here, but we did get a bite. 
All right, what's up guys? We're back out here at Lake Balboa. So I heard the top water bite was going off here. We're gonna go throw this around, see if we can get a top water bass on this Pikachu lure here at Lake Balboa. Let's go get it done. All right, we're gonna start at this waterfall over here. I usually get snagged here, but since we're on top water, I don't think it's a big deal. All right, Pikachu, I choose you. Oh, it looks so good, guys. That tail action is incredible. There were two methods to fish this. One was the slow method, just a slow retrieve, and the other was a stop and go method. I think today I might try to do more of the uh, stop and go method. My biggest thing is I have to remember not to freak out. If this thing gets bit, I cannot freak out and try to set the hook like I'm sending this fish to the moon. Whoa, see that right there? See that? Man, these bass for sure are feeding right now. They're making these bait fish go crazy. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there in front of me. That was a bass. I saw it for sure. That was a bass. Oh my God, look right here. They're, they're all in front of us right now. We're in the right spot. Question is, will they bite this Pikachu? Come on, Pikachu. Look right there, right where we just were. How many Pikachu baits can they have seen here? This has to be different. Oh my God, they're right there. They're right there. Oh my God, we are right on top of these bass feeding on these bait fish. I just don't see how this cannot get bit. Like they're everywhere right now. Oh my God, look, as soon as I said that, right there. They've got to bite this. We're right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. How is this not getting bit? How is this not getting bit right now? Guys, I cannot believe we are not getting bit right now. The action is so perfect. It's different. It's early. Like all the elements are in place for a topwater bite on this Pikachu right now. They're probably looking through their Pokédex right now trying to figure out who to throw back. That's why, this, that's exactly why they're taking so long. That's crazy. That bite was going on everywhere, all around us, and we were not getting bit. What's up guys? All right, so here's a little update for the day so far. First of all, I forgot water. Shout out to all these local vendors, man. If you guys are out here fishing, support these local vendors, buy their stuff. Anyways, we were into a pretty intense bite over there. I don't know what happened. I don't know why we weren't getting bit, but we were not getting bit on the Pikachu. So we're walking around right now. We're gonna hit a different spot. I see Guppy's Fishing Adventures doing his thing down there. We'll stop by there, see if he has any tips for us. Move on and see if we can get this bass. How you doing? Doing? You're the perfect man to see right now. What's that? What's going You've on? been known to throw some pretty weird top water things. Yeah, I see what you got there. Init first impressions. What, what are you seeing here? Thick, Just the lines, lure, the Pikachu your lure. Too, your line's too thick. All right, so 25 pounds too thick. Yeah, murky water, I go bright colors or I go hard vibrations, and this is kind of both. This one should work at this lake but you have to get your angles right. I would not throw this lure straight out to deep water. You could. And you <laughs> That's might. exactly what I've been doing. Yeah, at this point you feel like it's like, yeah. it's over. It's, yeah, but the, but you could find a couple ambush spots. Though. Yeah. If you could find any little shadow lines that has wall on it, they'll pin the bait up against it. Yeah, yeah. I do think the line makes a difference. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily, they are seeing the line, but I think a thinner line gives it a little different action hmm. versus a really thick line. It, um, the, a thicker line would definitely like dampen the action right, to some degree. Right. fueling up now. We're gonna head out to the dam at uh, Castaic Lake. We're gonna throw it around there and uh, see if we can get something. We're gonna go out sunset session, see if we can get a bass or I mean, maybe even striper. I downsized to 15 pound line. So we went down 10 pounds on our line. All right, we made it out here. We're going round two, round three actually on Pikachu. At the dam at Castaic, we're gonna see if we can get a bass. I don't really know where to start. I guess we could start right here around the docks and just work our way down. And uh, we gotta be out of here by eight o'clock, so park closes at eight, so. Yeah, the action difference between 15 pound and 25 pound is crazy. It's got so much more action right now. That's crazy. Oh, bass jumped right there. Oh, 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 yeah. That's a bass, that's a bass right there. Chasing bait, look, chasing bait, right there. All right, this is our shot. Man, I hope they're not dialed in on that bait again like they were at Lake Balboa. Oh man, yeah, they're busting over there for sure. The sun is setting that way, so it'll set on that side first, so I wonder if those fish are used to the shade being on that side first. I bet they are. Let's move down to that side. Let's look around right here for a minute. 
This looks like a nice spot. Right where the shade line is, right where the shade started. The wind is pushing this way too, so maybe it'll be pushing these bait fish into this corner. If they're dialed in on the bait fish though, like they were at Lake Balboa, we're gonna have a tough time. Oh, oh, got him. we got bit, we got bit right there. Oh my God, we got a bite, we got a bite. We got bit. He swiped at it, he swiped at it for sure. Yep, I see him boiling, I see him boiling. Man, that got my heart beating. Man, he swiped at it, for sure. Yeah guys, I feel like they're keyed in on bait fish and I feel like that's gonna screw us. This is far from a bait fish. Oh, right there, right next to it, right next to it. Man. They're definitely, they're busting on bait fish. They're busting on bait fish and we do not look like bait fish at all. It's not good. Yep, I see them, they're on the move. They're on the move, we gotta get ahead of them. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Right there, oh my God. They're little striper boils, I think. It's a little striper boiling. I mean, we're going right through the middle of a big boil. Well, we just got kicked out of here. I didn't know this was an unauthorized location. Apparently it is. Of course, right as they start boiling in this spot, that's when we get kicked out. Oh. Well, I guess he's right. Totally didn't see that. All right, I see him busting over here, so we're gonna keep chasing them. We don't have much longer in here, maybe 40 more minutes until we gotta be out of here, so we're running out of time, and we're still fishless on Pikachu. This has turned into quite the freaking adventure. It's our last shot. Oh, come on, fish gods. See some swirls, probably throw a cast here. Looks like there might be some subsurface action. And here come the turtles. Oh my God, seriously, seriously. Wow, holy crap, seriously, that would happen. Surprise catch, that's for sure. Dude, God. God, I don't want to get hooked. You got hooked. <laughs> I'm trying to get a hook out of it. You should have take the hook out. Yeah, yeah, man. This duck flew right into this lure, dude. It's got like three freaking hooks on it, too. I think this is the one that's got him, dude. Oh, dude chill, 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 chill. Oh, it's on you now, bro. Dude, hey, I'm sorry. Bro. My God, bro. Oh, you got oh my out. God, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude. oh my god, dude, I'm stuck, bro. Did I put a hole in your pants? That fool hit that? Duck flew straight into it, dude. Oh, I thought he hit that. Look, dude, it got me too. Bro, you're the man, dude. Bro, he flew right into it. Holy crap. Well, that is a start to a night. I have officially put blood, sweat, and nearly tears into this. Let's see if we can get a fish. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I fished all night long on Pikachu, didn't get a bite. I even took this thing out two more times to two different lakes, still didn't get bit on this thing. This might work if you're out in the middle of nowhere and these fish are not pressured at all, or this might work in some private pond or something like that. These urban environments, you could, it, it for sure it could work, but you're gonna have to work for it. I'm a little bummed I didn't get the fish, but here's what we're gonna do. If you think you can catch a fish on this Pikachu lure, I'm gonna need you to do two things. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to it, first of all, but hit the notification bell. Leave a comment down below and let me know you've turned your notifications on and I'll select a person to send this thing to and you let me know if you get bit on it. Send it to me and I'll put it in one of the next episodes. If you guys want to see more fishing challenges like this, be sure you click this box right here and I'll see you guys in the next video.